I'm running a bit behind trying to chase this thing down. So there were two letters going to send out, one to the senators and one to the media. This is the one to the media. I've just sent that off uh, zero minutes ago, a few more now, just making the video. And the content of the um, correspondence is that there's been a media blackout intentional. I mean, they're obviously complicit in burying this, the passage of this legislation. So I've just made them aware that we know what they're about. Uh, have a, uh, there's a link to the Google Docs for this document. So if you want to also send it, all the email addresses are there as well. So you just copy and paste them in and just give them more we send to them. Hopefully the attention will get to them. It was sent to a lot more people, the SBS, um, ABC. I had to use their Radio National email. A lot of them don't, don't like to give email addresses anymore, but it's got to most of the media. So um, yeah, it's, it's pretty um, just straightforward that you know, basically them and their families are against us the Australian people and their families. So um, yeah, I've sent that off. So hopefully other people will send that one off as well. Uh, it's a media letter sent off and uh, later on this afternoon about 3 p.m. just for these senators to mull over the weekend and before the vote on Monday is basically the same letter that, I, that we sent before, but I just added a few more attachments. I put down a consequence of the legislation, um, basically a fall of the nation declaration on metal plaques and other presentations will be made. We've got to name these people. If this gets passed, we need to let them know in advance that they're going to be named. This is the biggest change in our defence and security in uh, since Federation. And these people think, I think they're the 46th Parliament, think they're going to do it. Well, if they do, um, there's certainly going to be some blowback on them. And I've got this part, I've added this here, the attachment B4 and against arguments. I've got not intentionally left blank because there's actually literally nothing you can put there for this argument. Now, as far as against, I've got some sovereignty compromised. Past diggers did not die fighting for Australia against foreign powers for you people in Parliament to pass a law that potentially invites foreign powers to use force against Australia on Australian soil with immunity. No impetus. The people of Australia have, have cooperated even during this BS COVID thing. People haven't. There hasn't been any one, you know, any need for the, for any force at all ever. But they want to want to bring this in. Protest to cry in the admitted draconian actions by against people during the non self evident was readily dealt with by you know got to, got to search the sewage in order to find in order to report. It's been found. It was readily dealt with by state police. I'll throw that in as well. Home invasions. Police, police are part of the judicial system require warrants with probable cause from a judge. Oh, that's changing, I guess, in some ways. Foreign and Australian troops could enter homes and commit acts of aggression in their living room. So I've, I've got I've got all that in there. So and, and this is just what what was in the past um, letter to these um, senators. So um, yeah, if you're and all the email addresses are at the bottom, so you can just copy and paste them all in. So um, yeah, if you have a read of it, feel inclined, then uh, I'm going to send this off at about 3 p.m. this afternoon. Um, so yeah, if you if you I'll put the uh, link in the to the Google Docs in this video, and I'll also update the, my other channel. Just oh, I can't believe it. I'm probably not going to get as many people um, get uh, getting to them then these letters off because yeah, my channel has, has one. I mean, I haven't had a strike. I can't remember when if I've had one. I, have, I certainly can't remember being suspended. So suspended for one week leading up to this. I think they were trying to shut me down I guess I've only got less than 100 subs to the other one but um, um, so I'm still but even even later on after my channel comes on if I'll, I'll have this video up if people want to screenshot it and even if it's just mine and 20 or 30 others hopefully send them off we'll at least have a record yep you received this prior to this being voted on so you knew all about um, certainly what's coming from I'll be um, you know, advocating for and uh, hopefully others will, will join in and um, you know, if, if it goes through, we certainly start up a, a, a repeal this bill campaign and if we have to bring it to the attention of all Australians and the names of these people, name and shame them. Um, we're not going to get any help from the media, but there are other ways we can get around them um, and start going after their Twitter accounts and saying to them, you pass this and then go to the media, Hugh Remington at Channel 10, you are silent on this and really just start giving it to them. And even if the legislation's there, if we're proactive about wanting it repealed, when they try and go, go to use it, we'll say, well, we've never consented to this and, we, um, and we've and we wanted it repealed the whole time. And, hope, and that'll, you know, at least in some way, try and um, stem them from using it. 
down the track. So, yeah, this is an ongoing campaign. Even after the vote on Monday, if they voted in, that's not going to stop as far as I'm concerned. So, yeah, all right, that's it for this one.